Good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Rev. Mike Eniola. Welcome to Friday, the 28th day of July 2023. Open your mouth this morning and be saying Amen as I bless you this morning by the leading of God. In Proverbs chapter 25 verse 25. Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 25. Proverbs 25 verse 25 says, As cold water to a weary soul, so is good news from a far country. I want to pray for all of you that are expecting good news from somewhere. I don't know the type of good news or the kind of good news that you've been eagerly waiting for. I want to pray those good news into action, into fruition today. Everyone that is hearing me, this one that is expecting good news from somewhere, maybe the good news about pregnancy test you had, maybe the good news about your car, good news. You are just expecting a news to, that will gladden your heart. I pray for you this Friday morning that in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, let the good news that you have been expecting and waiting for begin to manifest in your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is expecting good news you know, from a far country. The Bible says, as a cold water to a thirsty soul. So that is how a good news is that comes from a distant land. I am praying for you that those good news that you are expecting, that you are waiting for, they will come to you now in the name of Jesus. The good news about your admission, the good news about your request being granted, the good news about your freedom, the good news, the good news, the good news. In the name of Jesus, I send forth the angels of good news to bring good news to all my listeners today. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, distance is never a barrier. I commission and detail the angels, the angels that are in charge of carrying good Good news. Let them locate your house today in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Luke that in the sixth month, though we are in the seventh month, there is no time that God cannot perform miracle. Six months after Elizabeth, no. Uh, got pregnant, the Lord sent an angel, angel Gabriel, to bring glad tidings to a small city to bring the good news to Mary. Somebody is hearing me this morning. God is sending your own angels that will bring your good news today in Jesus' name. The good news that will make you that will make you to dance even without without drumming. The good news that will make you to dance without anybody playing drum for you is coming to you today. In the name of Jesus, I decree it by the authority of God. No power, no demon is capable of stopping the good news from coming today in Jesus' name. Every one of us, as we go out today to face our lives, to do our legitimate businesses and works, the Lord will prosper everything you will lay your hand upon today in Jesus' name. I want to pray against accident today. I don't know who this is for, but I am praying and canceling accident on the way of some people today in Jesus' name. You are blessed, all of you that are praying for me, all of you that are rebroadcasting this devotional to your friends, your loved ones. God will continually pray for you and He will continue to provide it will pray for you. It will meet your needs. And God will continue to broadcast good things about your life and family too. In Jesus' name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout Amen. I believe as I receive. Praise God. Beloved, today in our continuation of the Bible reading, we are reading Genesis chapter 37 and 38. Genesis 37 and and 38. Yesterday being Thursday, we read chapters 35 and 36. Today is Genesis 37 and 38. The Lord bless us. Now let's go to hear the word. Yesterday, I ministered to us on the word I titled, The Faith That Moves Mountain. The Faith That Moves Mountain. And I did told us that some people will think that as big as their problem is or problems are, that is how their faith is supposed to be. Also, that is how their faith also is supposed to be. No, no, no. The faith that moves mountain, Jesus said, is as small as a mustard seed. If you just have that small faith, you will move the mountain. In the book of Mark chapter 11, 
Mark chapter 11. If you take a look, if you take a reading from verse 22, Mark 11, from verse number 22, it reads, So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Then in verse 23, he said, For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Now, one thing that renders faith inoperative is doubt. The moment you, the moment you allow doubt to come in, then your faith will be paralyzed. In the book of Matthew, we are also told about Jesus walking on the Sea of Galilee, Jesus walking on the on waters. And when the disciples that were sailing on the high sea, when they saw what was being done, what was played out, they cried, they thought it was a ghost. And Jesus said, no, it isn't a ghost, it is me. And Peter wanted to be sure, say, Master, if you are the one, just bid me to come. And Jesus beckoned on him and said, come. And as soon as Jesus said that to Peter, Peter stepped out of the boat and he began to walk on water. He began to walk on issues and problems of life. He began to walk on barrenness. He began to walk on lack. He began to walk on debt. He began to walk on the things that had, you know, that had pressurized and maneuvered his life before. And as he was going towards you know, where Jesus was, the Bible said, then all of a sudden, he shifted his attention away from the Lord and he began to look at the boisterous. The Bible said, when he saw the boisterous wind, he began to sink. There's somebody hearing me this morning. You don't need to look at what is happening around you. You don't need to look at the cost of fuel today. You don't need to look at, you know, different things that are happening around us. So if you want to set your heart on what the economy is saying, I don't know where you are, but if you want to set your heart or your mind on what is happening today, definitely you will sink. There is no how you will do it. You will sink and depression will come. But if you can just have faith, just have faith in God that he has not brought me to this level to disgrace me, God cannot bring me to this level to abandon me. No, he, if he has brought you to this stage, he will see you to the end of your life. Just have faith in God. And that faith is what I call the faith that moves mountain. Very small, very minute faith, not big faith, but just small faith. And when you act it, like I said yesterday, one of the things that makes some people's faith not to work is because they fail to actualize it. They fail to back it up with, a, with an action. But the moment you back up your faith with action, it will move mountain for you. There are several examples, there are several testimonies we have had, even on this platform, people who just had testimonies of somebody being shared and key to it and say, God, I am taking you by your word. If you could do it for this person, I am believing your soul. A dear sister said sometime, you know, few that sometime ago that when she had me, she had a testimony of an entire family bedwetting. See, mommy and children bed. The only person that was not bedwetting in that family was the father. Everybody, both mother and children, bedwetting. And when this sister had the testimony, she just applied that small faith and then. The thing also worked in our life. I want to put it to you this morning. If you are expecting a big or bogus faith, you are mistaken you are. The faith that moves mountain is also a very small faith. But just apply it. Just back it up. Utilize it. And you see how your mountains will fly away. The mountains could be barrenness. The mountain could be lack. The mountain could be lack of health. The mountain could be depression. The mountain could be anything. Just apply faith and leave it in the hand of God. Many a times, when we say we leave our problem in God's hand, whether consciously or unconsciously, we go back again and pick those problems, and then we begin to cry around. God is not answering my prayers, but unknown to you, you have gone back to where you dropped the problem, and you have gone back to pick it again. But this morning, I'm saying to you, don't pick it up. Leave it in God's hand. Just apply faith. All will be well with you. I pray for you today that your name, will not be heard in the name and in the, on the list of bad people. Your names will come up for a memorial somewhere. Your name shall be remembered. You will be sought for and you will be blessed. God bless you. Have a great and a wonderful day. Remember to read 
Genesis chapter 37 and 38 today. Genesis chapter 37 and 38. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.